All right, now that uh, we have our uh, initial piece done where we have everything laid out and we kind of have this opening and closing, we're gonna now work on actually um, beginning some code. So if we actually look at this one more time, we're gonna have to have it where we select this key and then we need it to show up here, okay? But not only that, it has to disappear from here. Okay, so there's a couple things that we have to do, and it's important to understand that uh, here on the uh, hierarchy, when an object is not active, we don't have access to anything inside of it. So for example, I can't access slot one when inventory system is deactivated. So in order to make this all work the way we want it to work, we're gonna have to use in our game manager make a new script that stores all the values that you collect, the objects, right? And then we're gonna say, hey, anytime inventory opens up, I want you to read whatever I've saved and apply it to the right slot. So in this case, we're gonna make an array and, uh, and kind of set it up that way, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is in your scripts, we're gonna make a new JavaScript, and I'm gonna call this inventory system. And then we're gonna open it up. And so now that we have that set, okay. Uh, we're gonna um, add, and uh, when we're messing with images and things like that, we wanna make sure we import unity engine.sprite. Okay, and we're gonna leave start and update as is for right now. And uh, I'm gonna just make an array. Now an array is uh, an, uh, a container that holds many objects or integers, images, whatever you really want it to be. Okay, so uh, in Unity, and especially in JavaScript Unity, you have to kind of do it in uh, a way uh, slightly different than what you would normally do it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make this public because you have to make it public. And we're gonna say inventory slot R A R R for um, array. And I'm just gonna call this inventory and I'm gonna use the open and close brackets. So this open and close brackets means that there's uh, it's an array, okay? So now that we kind of have that piece set, um, if you hit save, nothing's really gonna happen, okay? And um, what we have to do is say, hey, what is actually, what type of uh, data is gonna be filled in here? Now, if you were just saving, uh, having one type of uh, data type, for example, integers, it's a lot easier. But if you wanna have an integer, a sprite, a string, a Boolean, things like that, like, you have to do it another way. And in this case, what we have to do is have a public class and we're gonna call it inventory. And we're gonna open close that. And then inside of this, we're gonna just give a bunch of variables. So we're gonna do an ID, a slot name. So that's gonna be a string. We're gonna do an image and that's gonna be a, a sprite, and then we're gonna say filled. So then we keep track of if this field is filled or not, okay? Now, we haven't used classes yet, but classes can help uh, create that structure that's a little bit more, uh, it's used a lot more when you're making like say for example, you have a class and the class is enemy and you could define all your enemies inside this class because you're gonna use it all over your in your game and access it that way. So uh, in this case, it's inventory, but it, it gives you a new set of uh, variables you can play with. So if I hit save and I'm gonna go here and let's find my game manager and I'm just gonna drag this over. Now when I do that, you can notice where inventory slot ARR is. When you open it, there's nothing. It says size is zero. If you actually go in there and type 10, push enter, now all of a sudden you have all these elements. Now if you open it up, notice how you got ID, slot name, image, and a checkbox for yes or no. 
Now, if I go back to my code, that's what we put right here. Okay, so you can use whatever you want. I like to just, you know, slot one and slot one. That's going to be very important because we want to access these. Okay, so we're going to uh, find it by the name. So that's why I named it that way. You can do it however you want. So in here, you could say, oh, this is it already start with zero. So I like to just start with zero. And then I could say this is slot one. Right, and we're gonna fill in the image and the field section. So really, it's just like, okay, let's just do this, slot two, and then two, slot three, and I'm just gonna do one more, and you can fill out the rest, okay? So, just like that. Now, at least we kinda have this set up, and we have a good idea of how we're gonna store our array, okay? Now, once you have that, then we have to write to this and say, hey, when I click on this key, I want to fill this array uh, with the image that I just clicked on. Very similar to what we did in the uh, uh, swap image video that we had earlier this uh, uh, semester. But um, so, you know, we're going to just work with that. So then what we're going to do is make one more. JavaScript file. I'm going to call this fill in -ven inventory. Okay. And let's open this up. Okay. Now that we have that set, what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure we have um, access to everything that we need. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have access to the game manager. So I like to just go ahead and make the variable game manager and I it's a game object. Okay. And then I like to just say var this image is an image. Okay. And then we're going to also reference the script. So we're going to say inventory script is inventory system. Now, if you forget, forgotten what we're doing here, inventory system, it's because in game manager, it's called inventory system right here. Okay. So th this is where that naming convention comes into play. All right. Now in the start section, what we're going to do is say, okay, this image equals, and what we want to do is just say this dot get component and we just want to grab the image, right? So for example, if this is the key, we want to make sure it's the, the key. And um, this is where um, when you use this, it just refers to whatever this script is on, what game object. Okay, so this script is going to go on each object that you make, all right? Now the next piece is we need to know where the what the game manager is. We need reference to that. So we're going to say game object dot find and we called it game manager all right in the hierarchy and the next one is inventory script equals game manager because it's inside the game manager and we're just going to grab the component inside there and call it inventory system okay now that we've done that we get it save and if we do all this correctly we could actually just go ahead and i'm going to pick the key and I'm going to put, oh, I have an error. Let's see. What you need to do is make sure we import unityengine.ui, and then this would work um, with no issues. So um, once we kind of have this going, then uh, what I'm going to have you guys do is click on key, and then we're going to drag over this. And then if we hit play, Notice how game manager key gets filled and even the script. So that means you did it correctly. Okay, so it's just important that we kind of cover that aspect. Okay, so now that we have this set up, it's just a matter of understanding and figuring out, okay, what do we really do after that? So what we're going to do is create a new function in here. And we're going to just call it function fill inventory. Okay, because we want to fill that inventory. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this and hit save for right now. Because what we need to do is go back into our inventory system and we need to make the uh, make a, a, a function here. 
And what we're going to do with this function is we're going to make sure we are able to fill in uh, the array that we've created in this class. Okay. Now it's just important to know the whole logic behind this is okay. What we're going to do is check each slot. If the slot is filled, meaning there's an image there, then we go to the next slot, and eventually we find a slot where it's available. Okay. So very straightforward, and it's easy to do. Okay. So what we're going to do here is say function, and we're going to call this check slot. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put obj in here because what we're going to have to do is pass in the object, which is uh, the, uh, the image, I mean, not the image, but the, the sprite, the source of the image. For example, if, the, if, if, if I clicked on the key, I want to make sure this function receives the key. Okay, it'll make a little bit more sense once we kind of go through this, but uh, it's going to combine some of the uh, videos that we've done earlier. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and do the first one to show you how uh, it works, and then we'll work on the second one. Okay, so what we're going to do is just say, hey, if inventory slot ARR and that and we, we do this because we need we do it here in uh, inventory system because we need access to this array okay so uh, we're just gonna keep it all together so it's nice and neat and an array starts with zero so that you know that's what we're gonna start with zero we're gonna say hey if this filled equals equals false meaning hey if it's not filled I'm gonna fill it in okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say inventory slot ARR zero dot image equals OBJ. Now, where did I get this image from? It's right here. We already called it right here. Okay. So that's why it's important that we do that. All right. So now we're going to do the next piece slot ARR um, and zero. And if it is not filled and after I fill it, I need to make sure I change it to true. Okay. So now that we've done that, if we actually hit save, okay, go back to fill inventory, we can now say, hey, if I get clicked, I'm going to just call uh, my script in inventory system and call this function, all right? We haven't done that before. We've always just passed on images and things like that. So this is very uh, similar in that manner. This line right here, we actually grab the script, okay? So now what we can say is inventory script dot check slot. Okay. And this is where it gets, uh, you know, uh, you'll have to get used to this a little bit is this image dot sprite. So that means that if I put this on the key, the key is going to get passed in the actual image location in your project where you put your uh, image. And then in here, it's going to just go through and fill it. Now, if we've done everything correctly, we need to go back to the key, okay? And we need to now add uh, the event trigger, okay? And we're gonna do pointer click. And I'm gonna go ahead and say game manager. All right, and I'm gonna say inventory system, and I want to call, um, let's see. Oh, actually, I want to call not inventory system. Um, I'm gonna call fill inventory. That's my fault. So we need to make sure we um, just do the key. So I need to find the key. Okay, uh, key one. No way. Hold on. Key. There we go. Key. There we go. Now we have fill inventory. And then we're going to call fill inventory. Okay. So now that we have that, I could hit play. All right. We got this. This is filled in. Let's go to our game manager. Let's look at where our first slot is. So if I click on this key, notice how the image changed the key and it's filled. Okay, so that means that we did this part correctly. Now, the one thing we didn't do is get rid of this key, but we'll work on that. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is uh, when you go back into your script, 
Um, oh, here, let's actually do the same thing here. We're going to throw in fill inventory. And you could make a prefab, and this will make your life a little bit easier so you're not doing it over and over and over again. And it just makes life that much easier. Uh, Canon. Gonna fill inventory and fill it. Okay. So now what I gotta do is in the inventory system, I gotta do the next one. Now it's important to know that when you're going through a series of slots and you want to know the first one that's not filled, you don't just do if statements all the way down. If you do, then every it's always true. So it's always gonna it's gonna just go line by line and go, oh yeah of course the next slot is not filled let me fill it with the same object again and so we want to avoid that so it's just important that when we're actually filling everything out that we do an else if statement so we're going to do else if and then do the next one okay so we're going to say one dot filled equals equals false All right, and then I'm going to say inventory slot r one dot image equals obj. All right, and then I could even also just copy and paste this. This might be a little faster when you guys are doing so many of them, okay? And then you could just change this to one, all right? So now if I hit save, I could go back here, hit play, and if I actually go to my game manager, the first slot's going to be a key. The second slot will be a cannon, right? So, uh, you know, I want you to just kind of uh, fix all of that up with whatever images you want to do. If you want to add a couple more, go for it. Um, I'm going to, and you, all you have to do is do else if statements here, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out a couple more. And in the next video, we're going to work on getting it to uh, uh, reference the inventory system and go from there.